Good evening and welcome to the genius of invention. Tonight from Drax, the largest power station in Britain. Every day, seven million of us rely on this place. The screen you're looking at, the lights in your house, the cup of tea in your hand. None of that would be possible without what's happening right here, right now. And because of the enormous contribution made by a handful of brilliant minds who unlock the key to power itself. Tonight we'll be celebrating Britain's amazing history of inventiveness, getting to grips with the very nature of invention and taking a glimpse into the future. Just what does it take to change the world? Hello, I'm Michael Mosley. In this series, we're exploring some of the greatest inventions in history and the geniuses behind them. I'm joined by industrial archaeologist, Dr. Cassie Newland. Nerdy but nice. Hello. And colourful professor of engineering, Mark Miodovnik. Hello. We three will be uncovering the story of invention, from the Industrial Revolution to the present day, from conquering power to the transport revolution, telecommunication and the moving image. Tonight, we are concentrating on power, how we learn to produce it, control it, and consume it. Until a few centuries ago, we had to rely on wind, water, or muscle for power. Then we learned to make our own. From the steam engine to the electrical generator, and finally, the steam turbine. Tonight's inventions represent pivotal moments in our growing love affair with power from a machine that could replace six horses to today's vast power stations that do the work of six million horses. 300 years ago, a blacksmith from Devon built the first practical working steam engine. I'll be looking at why the story of steam is the story of invention itself. This allowed Watt to build steam engines that were more powerful than anything that had been seen before. This drove the Industrial Revolution and made Britain rich. A century later, the brilliant Michael Faraday uncovered the mysteries of electromagnetism. The age of electricity had arrived, power was separated from its source and free to travel everywhere. But what's happening is quite amazing. The light is lighting up. And that means that electricity is being generated in the coil. What Faraday had created here is the world's first electricity generator. Now